The events in this video are fictional as the characters portrayed within. In this scenario, to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by Xcom's name generator. Seriously. Go here and then dash up to here instead of hugging that wall. Do that. Go there and then we'll have you dash up. Don't! Oh my god! We're in trouble now, guys! We are in trouble now! Okay, Van Dorn can command Pal back. Is that correct? Yes, you can. You can command Pal with this full cover, and hopefully that'll be far enough back from here that you won't be in range of these, oh my god, four mutons. This was a pod of six? A pod of six mutons! This is like more than we've encountered in the entire game. And who's the leader? Oh great, of course, it's the one in the front. And you have got low cover shots at Vincent and Lee. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Although Lee, how much defense you got? 30 from being in cover, plus five from Semper Vigilance, another plus five from attack sense so you're basically in full cover although you don't have the dr from it and that leader will one shot you if he hits you you on the other hand lee are just in low cover 35 35 is that right i thought low cover gave 30 did low cover always give 35 oh a spirit decors plus five will and plus five defense why is that van dawn is that what you've got um i can't find out who's giving everybody a spirit decors because as can be seen by vincent here semper vigilance only applies to him van dawn is that what you have a spirit decors are you giving it to everybody did i pick it i can't remember you know what at this point we have other things to deal with so we can pull power back into full cover and hopefully lose vision on these guys you i don't think can move up here yet can you Give me some mobility checks here. Anybody give me mobility checks? You're about as far as you can go, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assuming the leader can't move eight tiles, which he may because he's a leader, he can't get to here. We need to start off with doing something about the Cyberdisc, who is in Overwatch, we have to remember. Seven damage, man, Van Dorn. If I knew you could kill him in one hit, I would gladly take that shot. And this awkward damn terrain. Okay, so you mutons back here. You can see Angelo from that position, but he can't see the Shiv until he's at that position. <laughs> Ah, and Van Dorn, not that it's really an option, but you can't suppress this guy either. Oh, man. Pal, if you stay here and hunker down, they're going to grenade you and then they will kill you. 100% full stop. And McLean is two tiles off being able to hit that side disc. As you can see, he'd have to move one tile ahead of Lowry. And of course, these guys can just move up on him and then shoot him in return. And who in the audience thought I was being too cautious? Okay, I am back. I've spent, I don't know, the last 45 minutes thinking about this one turn. So here's what I come up with. We can't mine merge shivs. Let me start off with that, it's important. If we could mine merge shivs, then shivs would get, instead of 1.5 DR, 2.5 DR, because when you mine merge somebody, they get an extra point of DR. So we can't mine merge them. Why that's important is because to kill that cyber disc, which is so important right now, the closest tiles that are in range are these tiles here. Unfortunately, if you look at the line of sight indicator, three mutons, five Five mutons, five mutons, and four mutons, and you can't see the cyber disc. So this will be the best place to go there and shoot the cyber disc with heat ammo while the cyber disc is shredded. But three mutons will be able to attack back, and likely this mutant down here will swing round and then shoot as well. And to make matters worse, if you look at the direction of the pathing, Angelo passes through this tile pretty heavily. And I'm betting because the cyber disc can see both these tiles, that passing through this tile at an angle will mean it will trigger Overwatch. And I can well imagine this cyber disc having heat ammo, not to mention this mutant being a mutant leader. Mutant leaders tend to have heat ammo. So even though that's the best position, because only three mutants can attack back, it will likely trigger Overwatch. Unless, of course, I don't use Angelo, and I use McLean, who can get to this position. And the furthest tile over will mean only two mutants will be in range. He'll be able to shoot the cyber disc. He will likely not trigger Overwatch, even though he's going through at a diagonal. No, I wouldn't imagine he'd trigger Overwatch. But she has even less health than Angelo, so she would likely not survive. Of course, yes, I know I can rebuild both of them, I know. Our next choice, besides sacrificing Angelo or McLean, is to sacrifice Powell. As I said, I could mind merge him, give him an extra point of DR. He currently has, like, what is it, two thirds for using low cover? With Fortura's Una, which I can't believe is active, would increase his DR to 1. With Mind Merge, that increases DR to 2. But the problem, of course, is one of these many, many mutons will just grenade him and kill him. If I knew they couldn't use grenades, then I would just happily give him Mind Merge, give him guaranteed 2 DR minimum, and let him tank hits in low cover. Of course, that would still leave that cyber disc. So, what else we got? Well, I did have a crazier idea. Here's my thinking, right? 
all of these guys are clumped up. If I use Van Dorn's command on Pal to have him dash back to full cover, put Angelo and McLean next to that full cover here, and dash Larry back to here as close as to these guys I can, that will get them out of range of the mutons. At worst, this muton, I think he can move up to here. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure about that. But that means the Cyberdisc is very, very likely to use a grenade instead of just shooting somebody and killing them outright. The grenade will very, very likely not kill. Of course, the crit from the drone may. But these mutons won't be in range to move up and attack these guys further back on this platform. But this muton, as I said, may, I think, be able to go to here. Yeah, this muton will likely go to here. I don't know if be able to reach there, but here definitely. And he will have a shot. He's going to be the wild card. And whoever that grenade hits will destroy their cover. And that muton is likely going to kill. Or just finish off the injured ships. Unless, unless I send the sectoid up as bait. If the sectoid dies, being a level one unit, he will only be dead for a month. So... If I bring this sectoid to here, this muton will be able to see him. And not to mention, it'll be flanking his position here. So these mutons won't automatically just outright kill the sectoid if I put him over here. Of course, you could say, well, why not just use Van Dorn to kill the Cyberdisc? I would not guarantee that you can do it. And not to mention, that will leave Pal dead to all these mutons. Like, guaranteed dead. Grenade, then shots, then dead. So, move these two guys back. Put shifts between them. Be grenade bait for the Cyberdisc. These guys shouldn't have shots because they're quite far back on this platform. Bring the sectoid around here as bait for this guy who can see him from this position. Position. And even better, this muton can't see him from there. So I think that is what I'm going to go for. I am not prepared to just be like, oh, well, got to sacrifice somebody. I'm not going to do it. Nobody's getting that medal today. And before you ask, no, Shivs don't get that medal anyway, because they can just be rebuilt. Although they're going to lose any of the bonuses from so they may live. And all their perks, which I can just reapply. And in the barracks, the missions and kills for whatever Shiv died will reset. And I'll just have to have my own notes with the correct numbers. Oh, God, that's going to be annoying. Anyway, yeah, nobody's dying today. This is what's going to happen. Van Dorm, Command, Powell. Bring him back home. Oh! Oh my god. He used run and gun. You can't command somebody that's used run and gun. Well, Powell's dead. Damn it. God damn it. That is a bugger. Oh, that is a bugger. Well, so much for that plan. And in fact, Van Doom, why? What? Does command not use an action? I could have sworn command used an action. You're kidding. Command doesn't use an action. I mean, it certainly used it here. Does command use an action? Lead by example, this officer substitutes his or her will for that of an ally nearby blah blah and may use the command ability to grant a yellow move to an XCOM soldier who has no moves remaining. The soldier must be in sight range and not overwatching, hunkering or have used steady weapon. It doesn't say anything about him using up his actions. I could have sworn it did. If nothing else, I could have sworn it used up like half an action, but it doesn't. I mean, my God, if that's the case, then that cyber disc may be dead. Maybe, 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 maybe. You know what they say about gift horses? Please, Van Dorn, please. Thank God. Okay. Nothing's moving down there. Nope. Okay, that's that done. Now you can see Larry here, and the rest of you mutons are able to move up to this cover and get shots on him. So what can I do about you, Powell? I've got two mine mergers waiting to go, although the sectoid can move up and act as bait. Although it can't be near you, or that'll be grenade bait. If I go here, I suspect the leader's just gonna shoot him instead. And if I go here, in this far corner, what's gonna happen? Two mutons will have shots. If I knew this muton was gonna shoot first and kill the sectoid, done, no problem. I don't mind short round dying for that. He'll be back next month after Valen clones another one. McLean can incredibly suppress this muton, but it being a muton leader and McLean not even being in half cover, McLean having 17 defense. Oh man, well actually hold on. If McLean moves out of the way, that means short round can go here and suppress this muton. That means this muton will have reduced aim if he tries to hit Powell. And if he aims for short round in return, which is almost guaranteed when you suppress the AI, then that'll be a way of sacrificing short round and also impairing this leader muton. Okay, we'll do that then. Okay, McLean move up next to Angelo and you guys are gonna act as grenade bait in case somehow this muton moves up and McLean you're also gonna mind merge Powell here short round you're gonna move to where McLean was and suppress this muton because apparently that's what you can do from this position Larry you're gonna hunk down in half cover being flankable by that drone but acting as bait for all these mutons okay that's the plan that's what we got and Powell you might as well just shoot somebody I don't need to go on overwatch because that will actually encourage people to shoot you instead of moving up and seeing as from that position everybody can see you oh my god you're so dead but you know what if somebody had to sacrifice themselves I'm not saying I'm glad it's Powell not at all definitely not I am saying at least I wasn't forced to make that decision. If it just turns out that he couldn't move back as a command, then the decision was made for me, fine. So what can we do? I guess we should shoot you and start bringing you down. Hold on a second. If we give Pal the mind merge now, that actually increases crit chance. Yeah, go for it. Might as well make the best out of this. McLean, go next to Angelo. In fact, go one back from Angelo there. No one can see you, no? Good. Then mind merge Pal. 
Good, excellent. Good job, McLean. Mine merging. So now you should have two DR by Fortura Zuna and then one from the mine merge. And on top of that, you should also have increased crit chance. Yeah, I think it was like 16 before. So higher crit chance. Might as well shoot. Go for it. Good hit, no crit. But still, that is actually a lot of damage. Oh, pow. There, but by the grace of God. Then Sectoid, you can definitely... Well, I mean, we don't have a choice. You can see that Muton from that position, yes? Yes, you can. Okay, so go there. Then suppress that Muton leader and draw his aggro. Okay, so I don't think these Mutons are in grenading range. I'm pretty sure Long War removed Bombard from all of the enemies, except for leaders. In vanilla, all the enemies that could throw grenades had Bombard. But this Muton might be in range to grenade. In fact, even this Muton will be in range to grenade. He doesn't need Bombard to grenade from this range, even with that suppression on him. But as I said, the suppression draws aggro, so maybe he'll just target the Sectoid. And then all that's left is Larry. You're going to hunker down and act as a little bit of extra bait for these Mutons. So hunker. And all that is left is Angelo. R and Jesus, I know we don't talk often, but bring us all home safe. Drone, what you got? Oh, damn it, there goes the Overwatch. I was hoping that would be for the Muton leader, but I guess not. And yep, you got a flank on... Okay, no, you just wasted your turn. Fine, I hope everybody else does that. Flanking my position. Yeah, I know. The drone is not a big deal. So you, buddy, what are you going to do? Yeah, you're going straight for the sectoid? Are you going to kill him? Yep. Not surprised at all. Not surprised and not bothered. As long as that means that Pal doesn't get grenaded. What are you going to do? Go for Pal? No, go for Larry. Oh, suppressed. Okay, not a problem. That's good. You guys, what are you going to do? Blood call. Increase mobility. And what have you got? Another blood call. Why did you do that? Okay, last two hits. Another blood call. And you. Taking your shot. 50-50 against Pow and a miss. I'm pinned down here. Okay. Alright, I didn't see what the chances to hit that sectoid was. Oh, sectoid. Short round. I cannot believe we all made it out this alive. It's just so lucky we made out this alive. Just so lucky. It's so lucky, short round. So lucky we made out this alive, short round. So lucky. Okay, Van Dorn, who have you got shots on? Okay, excellent. You can suppress him, which should break his overwatch on Larry. Do you have shots on those guys on the right? No. So they're not in range yet. In fact, guys, I, I'm stunned that nobody's dead. I'm, I'm stunned that nobody is dead. Nobody at all. I want to make a backup to save. Check the recordings, okay? Be right back. Okay, we are back. Nobody's an overwatch except for this guy on suppression. Actually, you know what, Gerard? Let's not even risk suppression not breaking the enemy suppression. Can you possibly just hit him and end the suppression with damage? That seems a bit more guaranteed. Nice work. And then Van Dorn. Could you finish him? 78. Go nuts. Nice work. Drinks are on me. Yes, they are. And you two guys need to move from there. You guys very much need to move from there. With these mutons having shots on you, I means short round, died doing what he loved. Getting shot like all sectoids. Wait, Gerard, you don't have double tap? Oh, bugger. Okay then, I was gonna use a second of Gerard's shots to take out that drone. Instead, Vincent, if you move back. Rolling. Do you still have eyes on... Oh, wow. They can still see you. Oh, that's terrifying. Right, because this cover is gone for Reese. When, when did this cover go? When? Oh, game. Bugger. Okay, that's how far they can see. Oh my god, that is close. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't leave you there. I can't. I was going to move him back, hoping this cover, which should be here, would block line of sight on these guys. But look how close that range is. Pretty sure moving up one tile, they can hit you. And where are you? You are off by one. So, I mean, going here, could that hit him? Don't even take the risk. Don't. Instead, what we're going to do, Shivs, if you would kindly take out that drone. Can the mutants see you from behind this cover? No, they can't. So, you Shivs are going to line up there. And you guys can't see him either. No? No. You guys can't see him either from that position. Okay. McLean, go there. You first. 50-50 to get a kill. Whenever you're ready. Nope, that's okay. Angelo. You've got a scope, right? 60 to get a kill. Ah, oh, drones. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, absolute worst case scenario, the drone lives. But what I really want to do, you may have worked it out already. Oh, man, it doesn't block that cover. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I mean, you need to move back to full cover anyway. Go back here. Get outside of everyone. Except for you, apparently. Okay, the drone. Oof. Pow, you've got a lot of health. Stay here. Blow up this cover. Please blow up that little ledge as well. 
No cover for you, Muton. Yes. Okay, did take it out. Brilliant. So that Muton has no cover to move up to, even with Blood Call. You won't be able to reach that cover up here. Okay, Lee. Who can see you from that position? I hope it is nobody. Leader Muton? That looks like a no. That is, in fact, a no. In fact, it doesn't look like anybody can see you from that position. Okay, go down here, take Got out the drone. Covered. Excellent, good. Then 87 to kill. Yes, please. Nice work, Lee. Not bad Take for a corporal. Bet you never thought you'd be on a mission like this being a corporal. And then Lowry. Oh, you wouldn't, Lowry, would you? You wouldn't. What is this position, Lowry? Look at that. Half cover in front, half cover behind. It will only break concealment if an enemy crosses this tile or this tile, which I don't think he's got an angle on. Unfortunately, he needs to not be seen first before he can dash into that cover. God, that's gonna be terrifying doing that. Move up, hunker down. Or move back, hunker down. Okay, they still see you, that's fine. Hunkered, you should be absolutely okay. I do wanna keep tabs on some of them. Hunker, and then Vincent, sprint on over. We gotta leave that tower. So what have you got, Mutons? Oh, who do you see? Oh, 50-50! Oh my god, Lee! Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. 15 to hit. Yep. You should be okay. Oh my god, Lee. That's so lucky. So, so lucky. Up. Uh, what? I hear chrysalids and it sounded like they were coming from behind me. The camera was here and the chrysalids sound like they were coming from behind me. I think they're up here. Oh my god, I can't do this right now. Give me a break, game. How your cover destruction is on cooldown, which means we can't take out your cover. Vincent, if you go up here, are we going to have any shots at all? Roger Move up. That. Yes, on you. And it is definitely a squad site. So, Vincent, boop him. I doubt you'll kill him. But at least, get him right in the dome. Yeah, not bad. Really not bad damage. In fact, Lee, you could kill him. Oh, you could kill him. But this mutant behind here, you can just move up and take his place. I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. So Lee, move back. Yes, and then you guys. Oh, they don't have a shot on you. Really? Gerard, if you step over one. Still nothing. Okay, we'll reload. Your gun's pretty low anyway. Van Dorn, on the other hand, you've got tons of ammo. You can just go onto Overwatch. Powell, I'm going to say stay there and reload. I don't want you to move back. I want you to stay there and act as bait. You've got pretty good health. I doubt even the Mutant Leader would be able to one-shot you, although it's going to be close. But being in full cover, that's one DR. For Chirizuna, that's two DR. You should be fine. Just reload. Back online. Lowry, pull back again. I'm not going to risk taking that now. I am very tempted to go there once, you know, we're out of vision. But with that sound of chrysalids, oh man. I do remember chrysalid reinforcements as we encountered over here. But I don't remember there being a chrysalid pod. So it is possible that one of the pods are entirely chrysalids. Which with all these mutons, I do not want to face right now. So back away, just slowly, one at a time. I know they're not on Overwatch, but I want to keep vision on a little bit of the area. And lure them towards me bit by bit. Hunker. And everybody else Overwatch. Oh, they are moving. Hello. Oh, you, you poor, poor muton. How do the ships have shots on you? Okay. That's going to be fun working out who got that hit. And again, Van Dorn. Oh, you're a big gadget, Muton. Good hit, Van Dorn. Minimal damage, I think. And he is what, here, I think? No, he is in this cover here. Larry, can you move up and get eyes on? There you are. Ooh, that was close. Well, I moved two tiles and I knew it was a risk because it could trigger Overwatch. But I figured I had a feeling they couldn't see him on this tile and it had to be this tile. Which means moving to this cover wouldn't trigger Overwatch. Which is very, very lucky as it didn't. So, we have shots. Vincent, kill the leader. 92 to kill. Thank you, Vincent. And double tap. What can you do against that Muton? 77. Minimal Run damage, but good hit. Fast. Gerard, you could flush. Yeah, go for it. Flush. 100 to hit. Or 96. You know what? Just just 96 it. It's okay. If you miss, you'll get the horrible medal for the rest of your career, showing that you missed a 96. That's what? Two mutons left. So, good work, everyone. Larry Hunker. Lee, move up. Okay, yeah, you're not going to be there. Although, Vincent, you got a shot on him. Okay, Lee, stay there and hunker down. You've got enough health to survive a hunker down shot. Hunker down, everybody else go on Overwatch. What you got for me? Okay. 
Okay, some angry mutons here. Looks like they're both on this side. One might have run back. Uh, what? What? Who? Oh, it's Lowry. Lowry's the one that can see you. Oh, that is... Oh, that sucks to be you, buddy. Gerard, you got double tap and lots of ammo. All yours, buddy. 100 hit, 50 to crit. Another dead mutant. That leaves one mutant standing. And because they can see you, Spike from this position, you hunker down. And Lowry, likewise with you. Everybody else overwatch. Actually, not you, Vincent. Good you don't go. have a lot of ammo. Everybody else overwatch. Sure on the target. And there is our last mutant. Oh, and he's doing a dash as well. 75 to hit. And a missing Van Dorn. Right, the shivs. And Powell. Powell hits. And it looked like McLean got the Overwatch kill there. And finally, finally, that is our last active enemy. Oh, guys, give me an Overwatch. Or reload first. And then Overwatch. Oh, more mutants? Okay. There's something out there. Okay, more mutants. Pal, actually, what are you doing? Lowry, you're concealment for a reason. Go scout. Solid copy. Nothing that side. I remember we were here before, then we had to loop all the way around, and then we triggered six mutons, a cyber disc, and four drones. Oh, good times. Feels like such a long time ago. Shivs, just move up. Get some overwatches. McLean. Pow. Oh, Pow, you are so lucky to be alive. You could be short round right now. Okay, Larry. Actually, yeah, we'll finally take this position. Go I there. <laughs> Perfect concealment position. Everybody else overwatch. Frankly, Lee, you should move up. Go there, full cover. Orders confirmed. Moving out. The rest of you with sniper rifles and an LMG, you can stay where you are. Overwatch. <laughs> So what is it, a pod of mutons and a pod of chrysalids, as well as all the reinforcements? Is there any full cover around here we can take? There is not. Sprint around fast forwards. Right, go time. What? Okay. Okay, maybe that's not a good position to use. Stepping back out revealed a muton pod that must have moved back while he was in there. And while he's in there, he can't peek around that corner. Well, so much for that exploit. Nonetheless, you should be okay there, Lowry. Now you guys. Well... You know the drill. Lee back. Copy, Actually, what am I even doing? I have sniper shots. Vincent, you can only see one. Take your two shots. 292s. Hit. And again. For the kill. Very nice. No, I didn't. Mutom. Oh, you fell down. Oh, I'm sorry, Mutom. Now you, Mutom. Two 100s. Hit. Not a lot of damage though. Gerard, you're not doing a lot of damage with that rifle. Aim for the head, buddy. Okay. Very little damage. Van Dorn, do you want to finish him off? 78 to kill. Nice work, buddy. Nothing's moving down there. Shivs full back. As well as POW. Moving out. So this should be the penultimate pod left. Right. POW, you got line reflexes, move up. I'm on it, Commander. Hello. I'm going to kill you now, Mutom. Ha, ha, ha. 92 to hit. Good hit. No damage. They're falling back. I know, it's very upsetting, buddy, I know. Vandorn, 78 to likely kill him. Oh, you hit. Big damage, but not a kill. Gerard, where can you get a hit from? Or, new plan. Oh, you just can't reach. Just can't reach. Damn. Oh wait, Vincent didn't use double tap? Did he? Did he or did he not? Vincent shot, did minimal damage, then it was Van Dorn's turn, and he didn't kill him. But Vincent shouldn't have double tap, because he had double tap last turn, right? Yeah, he's used three ammo out of five, I believe. No, I didn't, you Tom. Ah, oh, screw it. I mean, the game screwed me over. Enough this mission. Vincent, he's done. Three mutons. Four enemies remaining, not including reinforcements, and we heard chrysalids, so that pod must at least include chrysalids. Fast forwards, reload and overwatch. Oh, and mutons. Are there more than four enemies remaining? Maybe. Larry, sprint back up. Ass. 
No contacts. Okay, we need to start moving up. McLean dash. Angelo dash. Powell dash. Order and Lee. Confirmed. And Van Dorn. The snipers can stay here for now. And Overwatch. Okay, how about we use one of those last two motion scanners, or the last motion scanner? No enemies. One, two, three, four, five. So here. McLean go here. No contacts. Okay. Lowry sprint his cover. Ah, oh, but there could be enemies here. No, McLean's motion scanner would definitely get that, wouldn't he? Yeah, that's in vision range. Wow, yeah. Lowry sprint this cover. It may trigger reinforcements, but let's just get a move on. Stacking Stay in concealment. Off. Larry, move up. Or Angelo, I mean. And you guys, time to do a bit of sprinting. You yes, go there. Van Dorn, go tank. there. And snipers, time for you guys to move. Yeah, let's not take the high ground. Let's just go down, join them. Now, as I said, this may trigger reinforcements. In fact, it very likely will. Shivs. Please, no reinforcements yet. Yep, reinforcements. No, no reinforcements. Okay. Angelo. McLean. I'm Powell. On, Commander. Van Dorn. Go Confirmed there. Confirmed coordinates. And throw a battle scanner in a second. Lee. I'm there. Rolling. And the snipers at the door. And. Larry pop the call. Power conduit is disabled. Everybody else over. But you've got three more to go. We've gotten reports of alien activity near your yep, location. Yeah, as much. Be ready for hostile forces coming your way. Ooh, you are far away, Thin Man. So one Thin Man. You're dead, Sectoid. Again, one of the two shivs. I have no idea which. Oh my god, it's gonna be, uh, gonna be madness trying Rush to work out who got that kill. But it does leave the thin man way up here, aren't you? How are we gonna deal with you, buddy? Shivs go here. Don't reveal around this corner, please. And you go here. And thin man, what can you do? That doesn't count as cover. So what are you gonna do? Sprint down here? That's not cover either. Here, I guess? Do you even have the mobility for that? Interesting. How about, Larry? I just sprint you to here. You spot that thin man. And maybe one of the snipers can kill it? Maybe? It's worth finding out. Move up concealed. Stepping off. Hello. Yep, no overwatch for you. Ah, oh, the poor thin man. He knows what's coming. And Gerard has got a shot. Vincent doesn't. But you know what? I'm going to give it to Van Dorm. Gerard, I'm sure, has got so many kills this mission and will very likely take that medal employee of the month back from McLean. Van Dorn, this one's for you. 88 to kill. Dead thin man. Drinks are on me. Reloads. That'll do. And then we'll move over to this one next turn. Oh, oh one. Strike one. You've got a oh, wave of x rays okay. closing on your location. Eyes up. What you got? Shh. That sounds like a pot of thin men. Okay, a thin man over there. That is very tricky. And one there. Ooh. And you're on Overwatch. That is going to be a problem. Or is it? McLean, you have jumpy legs. Is it going to be a problem? First, we need to burn the Overwatch. Larry, this may hurt. This is what we got you here for. In fact, do we even need to burn the Overwatch? Can we not just flashbang you and save the chance that a relatively close range lightning reflexes may actually hit? I can imagine with a height advantage and at this range, he'll have like a 20 to hit. So let's not even bother. In fact, before we do that, before we do that, McLean, jumpy legs. Can you get up here? Yes, you can. And the Muton is right there. Okay, so flashbang him. Boop ya. There you go. No more Overwatch for you. And then, McLean, can you give me a run and gun? Right there. In fact, no, go there, go there, that's fine. Don't trigger whatever you do. Okay, excellent. Now, what are your chance to kill? 50% to kill. If you don't kill him, well, somebody else is going to have to do it. Go for it. Yeah. 12 damage crit by Mutom. Watch out below. Oh, man, the corpse is strewn everywhere. He was still, he's still twitching. Yeah, I'm not surprised, buddy. That just looked brutal. So we do still have one thin man. But he is quite a ways away. Larry, where do you have full cover vision? You don't, not really, do you? Unless you go to this door, which I don't want you to. Run back there. I'm on and then it, you snipers move up. And leave. Dawn, you can stay there for a second. Now, from way over here, the thin man's not going to be able to get into range, unless it's a dash, in which case he won't be able to attack back. So, everybody else overwatch. I've got a visual. Um, wait, we, do we, we see that pod? Okay. And that is Floater Muton Thin Man. Unless, wait a minute, hold on. I don't know what's happening. Hold on one second. That. Okay, so float to Muton and Thin Man. Larry, is that right? Solid copy. 
Okay, eyes on. Okay, floater mute on. And I think that's a thin man. Maybe it sounded a bit scampery, I'm not sure. And there was another thin man over there. So four enemies. What can we do about this? Vincent, you've got eyes on the floater. Gerard, as do you. And you've got 100 to hit because you have got dead eye. Poor guy doesn't even know what's gonna hit him. You know that mute on, there's no way he's gonna be able to move up into range to attack Gerard. So just take out the floater, boop him. Easy peasy, use a double tap, finish him off. Stuff we need. Now Muton, Muton leader as well, wow. And a thin man and an unknown enemy. Lee, you've actually got quite a lot of health. Go here, if need be, you can just go into hunker. I affirmative. Nothing yet. Van Dorn, I don't like your chances against a Muton leader while you're in half cover. Sir. Edge over. I'm How are you two? Let's get out of his sight. And then Angelo. I guess go here. Maybe you can go up and take the high ground at some point. Sprint over to there. And then Vincent. You do not have a lot of health. Move go there. Position. And then Hunker. Because he may be in range of you if he moves up. Guts do the same. And in fact, the rest of you do the same. And you, McLean. Go here and reload, I guess. And then just end the turn. Enemy Larry forces headed on. your way, Ooh, strike more one. Get ready. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? Ooh. Opportunity overwatch. Okay, so that was a sector. And here's our thin man. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, so that was a sprint up. And you have opportunist overwatch. Van Dorn? Who you got eyes on? The Muton. Actually, you know what? What are your chances to mind control? 32. Oh, man. Okay. Um, you know what? I want to make this happen. I want to make this happen, even though it might end up backfiring and costing us severely. Okay. Lee, you can mind merge Van Dorn, but that would mean we need to take care of that thin man. And I don't really know how to do it. Hey, this solves one problem. Time to find out if flashbangs do indeed break concealment. Boop him. Okay, they shouldn't be able to move up because they're flashbanged. Still 32 to mind control, but honestly, I don't think it's risk mind controlling him. I mean, if it was a normal muton, then maybe a muton leader, the damage that he could deal. And no, it didn't break concealment. That's what I thought. Yeah, because it's a utility item. So flashbangs don't break concealment. Oh, funny game. So what can I do about you, Thin Man? I don't know what to do about you. What about In you, Van Swing round. You don't have eyes on him. Damn it. And Powell, your psychokinetic strike won't destroy that cover entirely. In fact, it will still leave him with full cover. You know what, Lee, move back. Make sure the Thin Man doesn't come over here and flank Van Dorn, which I don't think he could, but still, do that. On Lee, my move way. back and hunker. And then Vincent, you've got eyes on a sectoid. If that Muton moves up, I mean, he shouldn't, right? He can't move up without flanking himself, and he can't reach that while he's flashbanged, so you should be completely safe taking this shot. Vincent, kill the Thin Man. Or sectoid, should I say? They're sectoid. He's down. Actually, hold on a second. Yes, Angelo can run and gun to here and rapid fire this muton. But I heard chrysalids. Uh, what? I hear chrysalids and it sounded like they were coming from behind me. I distinctly heard chrysalids. Not to mention that thin man can just go to here and then snipe him. Although, how? How far is your psychokinetic strike? Let's just move you up. You can hunk down to knee B. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, I could have moved you to there, but you wouldn't be able to do it through the wall. That's fine. Can you take out his cover? No, you can't. You're one tile out of range. So that's fine. That's fine. Hunk down. You can stay there, Angelo. Lee and Van Dorn hunk down. We've got our flanks covered. And McLean, if he does come around this corner, you've got an overwatch on him from the high ground as well. And Gerard, go there. Yeah, hunk come down. On. Hunker. Overwatch. And overwatch. What are you going to do, Mutom? Uh, oh, you've, you've got a flank on Larry. Oh, the shift in the fire you missed. Here. I didn't even see what the chances were. Oh, wow. I didn't realise there was a gap here. Oh, come on, game. Really? Really, game. Really. He can take that shot, can he? Oh, man. Game, you're funny. 37 to mind control. Pow, take out his cover. Oh, he's got cover and fire. Oh, he's got line lightning reflexes. Oh, thank God. Okay, and he was also flashbanged. He has cover and fire. Of course he does. And your cover is gone now. So we need to make sure we kill him. Oh, covering fire. Oh, man. Vincent, kill him, please. Boop ya. Good crit. Do you have double tap? Did you use double tap? Did you use double tap? No, because you one-shot the sector, didn't you? Well, bye-bye, mutant leader. 
Okay, Thin Man, this is how it's going to go down. I want a medal on Van Dorm that says he was the first to mind control an alien. So Van Dorn is going to get that medal. Actually, before we do something stupid, McLean, do you have a flanking shot? Oh, okay, yes you do. You've got a running gun flanking shot. Okay, Van Dorn, you've got a 71 to mind control. Ooh, man. Come home with us, Thin Man. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Are there enemies left on the map? I don't even know. Oh, so good. L look at that. Look at that chain of Psy. Oh, who says Psy is rubbish? Alien powers can be good in the hands of Van Dorn. McLean, I mean, just come down here. Why are you even up there, buddy? That should be the last enemy active, though there should still be reinforcements. So, I say we bring those reinforcements down as quick as we can. Go on then, Larry, just run out there. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing? Good. Conceal, then go there. Excellent. What we got left? Angelo, I guess go here. Or sprint there. I'll oh, just sprint there. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Yeah, we should be absolutely fine. Yeah, I could have sworn I heard a chrysalid. And that is it. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. Another thin man. Broke concealment, fine. Hey, uh, Thin Man, can you go up there and take care of your friend? I mean, people with jumpy legs these days, just horrible. Abusing their power like that. 88 to hit. The Thin Man lives! Poor guy. You know what, buddy? You have been a bad Thin Man. Bad Thin Man. <laughs> Oh my god, brilliant. I have to be careful about that thing, man, coming off mind control, though. So I'm going to have to run out in the open, put everybody else in a firing line overwatch, and wait for him to come off mind control. That's another conduit Break down. Break that. You only need to deactivate two more. Go there, cover that side. Jump Drive, move up. Van Dorn, sprint to there. Rubber's on the road and the kids are in the Still don't know seat. what it means, buddy. Be there. And power aye, here. Aye, and actually, okay. bits in here. We need to move up, but cover all of our angles. And in fact, while we're at it, let's take this out as well. Conduit down. Only one more to go. Take that out, and the ship is ours. What we got? We're receiving reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy Another forces are likely closing on your location. And that's it. So, Thin Man, you need to go talk to your friend because, you know, I'm I'm trying to recruit here. I'm trying to be nice. Seventy to hit. Oh wow, he just doesn't want to die today. Looks like. Thin man, can you go up there and talk to him? Just right there, that'll do. Now I do need to be careful, he may be coming off of mind control on this turn. And this door here doesn't actually lead anywhere. We can't get through that door. And you, Lowry, it's not a good place you can go. I don't need to go here because you are definitely in range for that thin man to just jump down and flank you. You know what? Yeah, do that. You've got CCS. Do that. Got Sprint it. there, in concealment. If he does try to jump down and flank you, you'll just CCS him to death. And Angela, unfortunately for you, buddy, you need to run back because you've got no cover. And McLean, you can just hide around that corner. Is that full cover? It's half cover. It's something cover. What about this weird ass cover here? Vincent, do you have eyes on anyone from this Moving weird position. cover here? Yes, you do. Oh no, you're actually out of range. Well, just go on overwatch there, I guess. And Powell, I mean, you kind of destroyed most of this cover, buddy. I guess just sprint back this way. But we're gonna need your lightning reflexes. Go to this full cover. Running. Go there. And Van Dorn, who you got eyes on? Oh wow, you can shoot him right now. You know what? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna take a peaceful approach here. Gerard, go there. Lee right, go here, track. McLean overwatch, Vincent overwatch, you three hunker down, just in case our friend the Thin Man comes back, and what's going to happen? Oh no, oh that that is uncalled for, oh Van Dorn, I'm so sorry Van Dorn, he, he's just not XCOM material, and not a kill, I'm stunned, McLean, if you would, Go up here and discover our fusion cores. That almost looks like a small fusion reactor. If we could recover it, it, it may prove extremely useful to our weapons and propulsion research efforts. It will, when we sell it. Get off my high ground. In time, there you go. Bye, Bye. Okay, 
well, that's that's everyone. Moving Good mission, I think. Position. I'm not even paying attention to the numbers right now <laughs> because I have no idea. Angelo, run out here. You guys as well. And Lee, I, I don't know. Go there. Time. One more Overwatch. There are no more reinforcements. We'll pop that cork and call it a day. Yep, that's it. We're done, people. Let's go home. It was a flawless mission, except for Short Round, who has disappeared. How could the game not render its beautiful, beautiful corpse? But although Van Dorn has got the medal for the first mind control of an alien, and also I'm certain that quite a few people here have got the medal to sink their battleship because they've been on at least two slingshot missions, I'm keeping track of all the missions leaders send their squads on for flawless missions. And with the sectoid being killed, Van Dorn, this was not a flawless mission. I will accept a flawless mission being if it's only armor damage we took. Basically, we get home, nobody's injured. But with Short Round dead Van Dorm. I mean, it was a success and we'll clone another one in a month's time. But Larry here, short round 1.0, he could never be replaced. He was a hero, damn it. Nicely done, Commander. That ship is now officially under XCOM control. Although I don't think it will fit in the hangar. <laughs> yeah. So 37 enemies killed. And what happened to that chrysalid that we heard? I could have sworn I heard a chrysalid. No doubt I've been playing it over and over again every time I said I could have sworn I heard a chrysalid. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what we expected. I think there are actually more mutons than we expected. Guys, let's go home, clone another short round, and sell those fusion cores. America needs satellites, damn it. Oh, we're home. Lowry and Gerard are exhausted. So is Powell, and so am I. Oh man, did so few people level up? Oh, McLean leveled up. I forgot. Yeah, McLean only needed two more kills, or one more mission, because missions count for two kills, to level up, so McLean gets one more random perk. Mitson, I don't think leveled up, did he? Yes, he did. Okay, so he's getting Semper Vigilance back via the console, and now he either gets Lone Wolf or Combined Arms, which is a tricky choice. Combined arms is actually one point of extra damage for later level enemies when most enemies have DR. I don't know if it cuts through cover DR though, but it's something to consider. Lone Wolf is also good, but for a Rocketeer Sniper that tends to be quite close to the squad, it might be difficult to make use of, so maybe I will go with Combined Arms. He does have a multi-shot perk, being double tap. Maybe I will go for Combined Arms. His accuracy is pretty damn high. 92, so yeah, maybe not Lone Wolf and maybe Combined Arms. And then we have got Pal. Oh Pal, oh Pal, you are finally, finally not a useless soldier. To be honest, you are actually very very good you had lightning reflexes you had psychokinetic strike that we also made use of and now all your hard work is paid off close encounters heat warheads blah they only work with grenades sprinter very good not as good as close encounters Boom. Oh, you're now one of the good people, pal. You are now one of the good ones. So, let's go back to the barracks, sort out Vincent's perk, and find out what McLean's gonna get. And speaking of what we got, three sectoids. I need to give one sectoid to Mexico, I think. Two floaters, eight thin men, 16 mutons, two cyber discs, two chrysalids, and two drones. I think we blew up one drone, which really, really isn't bad. On top of that, my god, 104 Illyrium, 104 alien alloys, 60 weapon fragments, 13 meld, six intact UFO flight computers. I'm definitely gonna have to make use of them. If I haven't done the alien computer research yet, I definitely have to make use of them before I sell them. And then five alien power sources, and then the two fusion cores into the bargain bin they go. Operation Crippling Plague was a success. Not a flawless success, but a success nonetheless. The cache of new technology and supplies that we retrieved from the battleship should provide you with additional options when directing XCOM's future moves. Remember, oh man, I'm tired. We will be watching. Thank you, John. Okay, we are back. Oh my god, I'm so tired now. So Vincent, was given back his Semper Vigilance and he's now going to get combined arms which is basically one extra damage on most enemies if not all enemies in the late game so that is for you I need to find out if that applies to cover but you know what too late now Fire in the hole only applies to rockets and Lone Wolf for a kind of semi frontline sniper is probably not the best idea. And then as for McLean. So it kind of looks like today random.org was just throwing perks at the wall and just seeing what would stick. Let's go through the perks that random.org insisted McLean should have. Starting off with Into the Breach, which gives extra XP for any soldier below sergeant, which McLean is not below sergeant and most importantly, shivs do not get XP, so the perk would not apply to him. Thank God for that. Next Next up though was Bull Rush. Yes, Rand.org said McLean should get Bull Rush. She needs Bull Rush. That's how it's gonna be. Doesn't work though. I really, really wish it would. Oh my god, McLean using Bull Rush would be so good. Just charging forward, smashing through cover. It'd be a form of cover destruction, except that it would leave McLean incredibly stupidly vulnerable, but it still would be hilarious. But it does not work, so that was out of the question as well. The next perk, because apparently into the breach, one of the eight officer perks in the game, out of like 167 possible perks, was not enough. Next perk was stay 
frosty. Thank God, again, thank God, shivs don't get fatigued. So the reduction in fatigue from stay frosty doesn't work with shivs, hence doesn't work, shiv doesn't get the perk. Thank God, another bullet dodged by McLean. Could have ended up with an officer perk. Next, again, because the crazy alien perks don't stop, was Death Blossom. The ability for the cyber disc to spin rapidly and then explode, dealing no damage to itself, but acting like basically an infinite use grenade. Again, as you would imagine, oh my god, I'd love that on McLean. Oh, I wish perks like that worked with soldiers. I wish that so much. It would be so amazing. Sending McLean up into a bunch of enemies and then just exploding between them all. Oh, that'd be so awesome. But doesn't work. So again, a fourth perk that was thrown at McLean and did not stick. That ends with reactive targeting sensors, which I'm pretty certain because I can't click it. In fact, you know what? Hold on one second. Here it is, reactive targeting sensors. And it is not a good perk at all. Unit gets a free shot back at the first enemy who attacks the mech each turn, provided there's enough ammo to do so. Now, it works with soldiers. I don't know if it works with shivs, but I'm pretty sure it would. Nonetheless, I will check after the recording to double check that it actually works. And I'm sure I'm showing on the screen now whether it does or doesn't, but this is not a good perk. Maybe for an alloy shiv, maybe. But for a standard shiv with only 10 health at this point in the game, when we're up against mutons with opportunist overwatch and heat ammo, this is not a good perk at all. Hell, it isn't even a good perk for a tanking soldier. There are much better perks for tanking soldiers. But nonetheless, that is what McLean gets. Yet another rubbish perk added by random.org. Oh, McLean and Angelo, you've had a rough couple of perks and you've got a long way to go before you level up again. Well, that's it. Let's go and sell 400. 400? Are you kidding me? 400? Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. I will take my 800 bucks happily, very happily right now. Yep, done. Boop ya. Research right now is Xenogenetics. It'll be done in two days. And we can get so much more. I'm pretty sure we've already got alien computers. Yes, indeed we do. So with all those resources, we actually have access to everything. But I think the important thing should come first. What we got in the foundry? Oh man, alien mythology. I'd actually take that right now. But it takes so much meld. So unfortunately, no. But mechanized unit defense. Yes, please. Mechanized unit defense is CCS once per turn for shivs. That is really, really good. We have the weapon fragments, more than enough. And it costs a lot of alloys. And one cyber disc. But I definitely think it's worth it. Absolutely go for it. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I do anything else, maybe, just maybe, I should build those satellites. Make two at once, so we get as much rebate as we can. Although, this doesn't cost components, so I don't know if we do get rebate back. But either way, I'm building two. Two more satellites. Boop. It will take 20 days, and that leaves us where? Two more satellites in 20 days, satellite uplink in 21 days, and a week later we'll have our CATS report, which means we'll have USA completely covered. With the two satellites we've got right now, two more on the way, one satellite in two days, another satellite in 21 days. That's one, two, three, four, five possible satellites that we can launch, which is very good. One alone would only let us two satellites to be launched. With the extra one, that is one, two, three extra, which is overkill, but necessary. Speaking of necessary, thermal generator. Yes, please. We've got the money now. Let's get it out of the way. It's kind of boring, but without it, we cannot build an alien containment. In fact, we can build this right now. Um, okay, yeah. First build the thermal generator. Do that because we're going to need power. Next, what was it going to be? You guys were going to be workshop rebates. You guys were going to be lab bonuses. So I guess alien containment goes over here. Yeah, because it's two by two and two by two. So yeah, it has to go over here. It will stunt our growth with the satellites a little bit, but we're just going to have to build downwards for the satellites. Or, you know what, no. Dig this out, build it here. That'll give more room in each direction to put satellite uplinks here. So it can go right here. And also dig that out. And that'll be room for the genetics facility. And wow, that is our money gone. But you know what? I don't think we're done. I, I, I just don't think we're done. Get rid of a few power sources. Say three. Get rid of a few flight computers. And yeah, that'll do, I think. Done. We can build an alloy ship. But it's so pricey. No, no, no. Okay, first. Important things first. Important boring things first. I could excavate these and these and save myself the trouble later. Do that one. God, it's so pricey though. Fine, fine, just do it. Just do it. Get it over with. We'll have to do it sooner or later. Then what have we got in the foundry that we need? Mech unit defense? That seems like a yes. Do that. Get it. Enhanced ballistics? No. Enhanced lasers? No. Mag pistols? No, thank you. Alien mythology? Yes, I would get, but we don't have the meld. Aircraft boosters? Uh, pff, not really. I mean, I suppose we're going to have to get it eventually, but it's really not a priority. We will go for combat systems, though. Costs quite a lot of everything. Yes, go for it. Boop. I'll make sure production begins immediately. Thank you, Chef. And as soon as we've got something, I'll be in close range. And then lastly, we need an extra scope. I don't know why we only have three. Build me an extra one. Done. And then, 
we really need super heavy lasers at this point. Frankly, we really need an alloy shiv at this point, and also more laser cannons. Start with the alloy shiv. Let's get him going, whoever that might be. Build me an alloy shiv. Increase speed of manufacturing by hiring more engineers. We need 35 engineers. Take 20 days. Not bothered. Go for it. God, the alloys it needs, though. Ooh, ooh, hold on. If we get this, that costs 30 alloys. That costs 10 alloys. Oh, man, if we get the alloy shiv, we cannot get a laser cannon or super heavy laser. Oh, but I want an alloy shiv, and they're so expensive. We're going to have trouble getting one later on. Do it. Done. And there go all of our resources. <laughs> oh, Shen, shut up and get back to work. Scope upgrade project in two days. Two satellites in 20. Mech unit defense in 10. New combat systems in 14. Not that we're going to be able to build anything because we don't have the money. Another scope in six days. Alloy shift in 20 days. Which puts this kind of overflowing a little bit, I'd imagine. We need to go see it from here, don't we, to expand this. There we go. See so yeah, a cat's report a week after the satellite uplink. And the hangar. Ooh, you guys are almost ready to go. Well, I mean, not, not you guys. Oh, man. You know what? Let's move you to North America now. Go on. Away you go. And you are still injured. But our fleet in Africa is all good to go. Two laser cannons and the rest with missiles. But we do definitely need at least one more laser cannon. We need at least two laser cannons in each of the continents. In fact, we need to max out the aircraft in North America as well. Which is kind of ironic because we're expanding to North America to reduce the cost on maintaining an aircraft. And when we expand to North America, we're going to buy more aircraft to defend it. But hey, what are you going to do? Let's tick over the clock and see what is up next. I might end up having to do a parody episode for the Xenogenetics. You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm not going to take over the clock. Sorry, guys, not going to do it. I am going to end the episode here because I know I said I wouldn't do parody episodes anymore, but for XCOM 1, I just cannot help myself. And I know that the Xenogenetics research will unlock the meld video, which after such a long, long mission, I don't want to then have to do a parody video after editing all of that before I release the episode. So no, guys, not going to do that right now. That will be in the next episode, whatever the mission might be. Who knows? But the episode has gone on way too long, more than long enough. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I cannot believe we made it through. Oh, right. 0108. Lowry. Customize. First name. 0108. Short round. Because that is all that can fit on there. Lowry. Short round 2.0. We'll be back with you two or so weeks after you come back from your holiday. You've earned it, buddy. We will miss you. And look at all those fatigues now. This is what I meant about the fatigue spiral with the slingshot missions. Oh man, they should not have the slingshot missions so close together. I'm stunned that Longwood didn't do anything about that. Two extra missions within a week of each other. That's, that's rough. But a lot of our key soldiers are out. Gerard, Bay, although you're going to come back soon. Friendly, Wilson, although you're only really good for sniper score missions for training rookies. Larry, Powell, who's actually useful now. Might have to change your nickname, or not your nickname. Will just no longer be said with a sarcastic tone. And Perry, again, another good soldier. And maybe, finally, Aquatonic can go on a mission and we can unlock his perk tree. What's your random rookie perk? Oh, right, Legio Pastor Nostra. How could I forget? Of course it would be. Of course it would be. Thank you, random.org. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let anybody else know if they enjoy it as well. And I will see you guys back next time for who knows what mission and starting off no doubt with a parody of the Mel cinematic thank you very much and bye bye oh man i don't even know how many medals people got and how am i going to work out who got the kills angelo or mclean oh man oh, sleep sleep Okay, I'm recording this after having edited the video. My god, that took a long time. But I wanted to do this now and didn't want to wait until the next episode. Artifact sales, sectoid corpses, go to Mexico for one scientist. You know what, Mexico? Done. Done. And also, guys, remind me, I need to build a workshop here as soon as this is done. That way, we'll get the most amount of rebate from things like alloy shivs that cost tons of these materials. I appreciate my time, so thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye, everyone.